Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and we are doing Senna's side story. We found out in the last episode that, uh, well, X is uh, bringing somebody back as a Mobius and it's somebody that we don't want to see again. The worst character in this game, the biggest villain in this game, is Shania, the true bitch queen. And she's come back as Mobius. They're probably going to give her some kind of redemption arc. And uh, you know what? If uh, the characters want to forgive her, that's fine. But I refuse. I will not forgive Shania for what she did. Some things are unconscionable. And what she did is one of them. And when it comes down to it, M, who by all accounts seems like a pretty decent person, all things considered, may not have had to have died had it not been for Shania. Not to mention all of that fighting that happened, some of the prisoners that were trying to escape died, and some of the Agnians in the castle died as well, in all of that that happened. So all of that's on Shania. She's a monster, and we're probably- oh my gosh, she went back to city? Really? I guess that makes sense, she's going after Monica. Monica or Gondor? Not even good with those things. Both, probably. You don't need that, did you? That's not where your talents lie. I tried ditching it. I would have if I could. Long ago. Contour. What do we think? Do we think she's going to end up dead by the end of this? It probably has to go there, right? Thematically, uh, somebody who does something that awful thematically usually is going to end up having to atone with their lives. But, you know, sometimes people can jump that trope, you know? We'll see. And you verified that. What's wrong? Mobius. But how would they know where... What? What's happened? Oh. I guess she knows where they... D did they say... I mean, as Shania was dying, did they mention the, that the that city went underground? And specifically where? Because otherwise, Shania shouldn't know where it went, because Shania didn't know that it could move like a Levnus. Or like a Ferranus. Gondor! So she shouldn't know where city is. It's Mobius. They attacked the city. <gasps> Mobius did! For real! The perpetrator... was Shania. God, I hate her. <gasps> How is that possible? I mean, we saw her die. Well, it happened before with Yorin. Spock it. So she's joined their ranks. It seems to me like every single Mobius who has chosen to become a Mobius has like an inferiority complex. I wonder if X, Y, and Z seems to seem to be the predecessors. I think they're the originals, the ones with these Fisher blue scar or the purple blue scar things or whatever. Uh, so X, Y, and Z, they're the ones that we've seen with that. We saw them in that cut scene with Nia. Um, so they're like the originals, but they seem to choose people who are weak and have inferiority complexes, probably because they're easily manipulated and they are easily... Um, I, I guess corrupted by power just because for most of their lives they didn't have any. But I don't know, man. They really know how to pick them, though. Shania. Senna. I knew it. I saw this coming. And still, I couldn't. Senna, you won't see this through. 
don't you? Oh, Mimi. We've got your back, okay? Come on. Let's go. Hmm. I have to do this. I swear. I'll settle this. On my life. It will be done. Forget the cargo! Get us to the city! Mom! Yeah, Shania's Gondor, still there? Take us with you. Sina, you sure? She's Mobius, right? Then we've got to go with you. This is Shania. You up to it? A friend of ours became Mobius too. So I was under the impression that only Ouroboros could kill Mobius. But that's not entirely true because we saw um uh we saw Sagiri finish off um her Mobius. So, but maybe that's only possible because we weakened. Well, we didn't fight him at all. So never mind. No, we didn't weaken him at all. So, yeah, they, they can be killed by people other than, than uh, Ouroboros. But still, we came to terms with that. Never knew. Real tough cookies, ain't ya? Speak for yourself, as hard as nails. You can still back out. Last chance. No. It's fine. I'll do this. All right then. Move it! Get your asses on board and let's hustle! You know, pretty much all the story quests have been pretty good. Thinking over it, like, all of them have pr been pretty strong. I didn't care too much for um, Riku and Manana's, but... Other than that... They may technically be optional, but I would be really sad to miss these, you know what I mean? Because they've, they've all been pretty good, and they've kind of explored characters in deeper ways, and... Uh, you, you know me. Well, if you've been around long enough, you know me. I love character development, so... gonna feel good to beat her up that shouldn't be words coming out of my mouth but i hate her so much <laughs> i feel the I same way know. about yorin she had a rough time of it i clearly don't take well to uh betrayals from supposed friends <laughs> that kid she was always trying to please her mom no Trying to live up to her mum's expectations. Thing is, sometimes life deals you a shitty hand. We were all desperate. Should have seen the crap I went through. This ain't a sympathy vote, though. Everybody You're in so this strong, everybody in me. this world went through really that tough shit. Even factor. So, there's no it's excuse. It's the attitude that matters. I hate to break it to you, but that's being strong. I was born with a gift, and I'm using it as all. And if you hadn't been born with it? You see the problem now? Shania never had... I mean, she had to have some talent if she made it to number eight on the Ouroboros candidacy. Out of like a hundred applicants, like she had to have some talent, so she's not talentless. Anything? But sorry, mom. Clearly, a lot more was expected of her, and she didn't live up to that with her mom. So nothing for the past half hour. <sighs> so we were overwhelmed. Don't you think it's strange, though? Hmm. 
We've already covered so much ground, but it's been dead silent. That's a point. If they've already overthrown the city, why haven't we met any resistance? No. Huh? This is what she wants. She's biding her time, waiting. Ready to give us a piece of her mind, I'll bet. <sighs> yeah, she's clearly got a bone to pick with Monica, with Gondor, and the Ouroboros. But the truth is, she just hates herself. When you could see the reflections, she saw Monica, she saw Gondor, and then she saw herself, so. Oh, that was her mom. She's like frozen them, weird. That must be her unique power. That's the house she's from, I'm guessing. What house was she from? Was it Doyle? Is that is that one the Doyle one? Can't remember. I don't remember half of the house names anyway, so. I remember Van Damme, and Doyle's one of them, but I don't know which. No, I think Doyle might be the cat girl. We're too late. She's gone. And the moats indicate that there are dead people around. Yeah, maybe not, though. What, did, what exactly did she do? What's with... No one's moving. I guess there are more of purple moats than Mia. red moats. Is this... Mm. It has to be. Though I've never seen this power before. You think it's... Shania? You know where to go? Over there. This is unsettling. like she's right. Indeed. Their vitals seem to be fine. I can see them breathing, very faintly. Perhaps there's still time. Hurry! She could have easily killed them all. It breaks my heart to see the city in this state. And the fact that she's... If we just defeat Mobius, stuff will go back to normal, right? The fact that she hasn't killed them means that maybe she doesn't truly want to. I don't think she wants to hurt everybody here necessarily, but it seems like she does have a bone to pick with us, Gondor, and Monica. Don't try to stop us. Safe as colonies with me on the job. Crash out! Yeah. Oh, 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 I'd say we were moving in sync, right, Tyon? Any rare parts? Oh, why didn't it show me the parts? Maybe we only got money from those? 
Okay, not everybody's frozen. You didn't charge off on your own. Damn, dude, I really need some of these Agni and Levnesses to give me those rare parts. It's right down this way. Hurry. All right, who do we want to play as? We could play you in your original class for a bit if we wanted to. Yes, uni's the bus. Too. Shania. What do you think, Gondor? Isn't it a work of art? <sighs> Shania. Did you do this? <laughs> Tell me. Being Morbius. It's just incredible. Excuse me. I have control. Just look, I can freeze everything in its place. Humans and objects. Exactly like a painting on a canvas. That's it. That's why you made everyone stop. <laughs> I even have the power to stop the very flow of air itself. <laughs> what do you think might happen if I do that? You dare. <laughs> it's a real sight to behold, eh, Gondor? I could almost paint it right now. What the hell are you doing this for? What are you after? You're asking that now? You know why, Gondor. I want to tear it all down. This city and you lot too. And then I'll repaint it all in my own hue. A nice red will do. A vivid blood red. Shania. That's right. You just keep on glaring. Enjoy cursing your own helplessness. She's a monster. <laughs> Can't move. <laughs> Noah. Yeah. You can't beat us. We've been through far worse than this. Hell yeah. You've got to set these people free, Shania. Just like what you did at the castle. Huh? Oh, you Uruboros really are infuriating little weevils. And yet, you spent hell long trying to be one? <laughs> what happened to your dream? Like hell. I said I want it gone. It all belongs in the garbage. Your life, this world. If you hate it so much, if you really hate this world, why aren't you trying to tear it down yourself? Change it with your own hands. I told you, I'll wreck every last thing. You can thing. do it differently. There's still a way you can change. And that way, the world will fall away by itself. It'll all change. You've got it easy, Senna. Bet life's been cushy for you. Get off your high horse! In what way? You've got it all wrong! Nobody's had a cushy all life here. All I'm trying to say is, I'm not the same as you. We're nothing alike. And that's why you became Mobius? Afraid it was a waste of effort. You're still nowhere near our equal. <laughs> what? Couldn't live up to house fandom, could ya? Yeah, we were gifted. House Freed couldn't hold a candle to us. Read. So, you admit it then. That's the house. If that's what you want to think, then bring it. I'll show you what's different once you get a taste of my fists. Or are you going to win pat? Lose this one and you won't have anywhere left to call home. Gondor?
bust those twin tails right off her head. Let's fight! Okay, I do have to be careful with this form because it takes away both of my tanks. Gondor's about to go down. Okay, okay. We're doing okay. Um, let's see. Increases critical hit damage. And what's your thing again? When chosen, assure self-reactivation in addition to the standard number of reactivations. Okay, so you basically get to come in every single round if we want to use you. an attack right now? Whoops. How did that happen? I know that I uh, auto-equipped you. Could have sworn, right?
know what I've got in mind. Hit the will least expect. Quick! Everyone get ready! I get first in! Don't touch me! Okay, not bad. It's pretty good. Oh, there it goes. Got frozen. Damn, I wonder how long that's gonna last. Not good, man. We're taking some heavy licks at the moment. God, I can't even see where I'm attacking. How am I supposed to get my cancels in? Ooh, she's about to uh, do something big. She just raised up into the air. Hopefully she gets that attack off during this so that if uh, it hurts a lot, we can come back from it. Um, okay, so. Okay, both of them should be able to come back. Because of her heroic.
Okay, another three back. Man, we cannot get a break on her. Save our life. Wow, that was a lot of damage. That was a really high damage uh, chain attack. I didn't realize. I think that's our highest chain attack damage we've ever done. And you deserved every lick, girl. I can't lose this! If I screw this one up... There's no place for me left in this world! How do you still not get the message? Whoa. That's the first time we've seen one of those cores in the center break, the purple ones. What? How? How did... I... I'm Mobius. Gondor. I did it. I really became Mobius. Thought I told you. You're calling. It isn't this stuff. She was an artist. Oh, didn't know you could paint like that. Uh, no, this isn't. Come on, show me some more. Ooh. Hey, this is your dad, right? Ha, <laughs> and this one's my stinky old man, eh? It looks just like him. You're bloody good. But why them? Because I want to be like them someday. Protecting the city. Everyone looking up to me. That your dream? 
Not sure you need to be worrying about something like that. Huh? They're just a bunch of old bogeys. Just be true to yourself. Bet none of those farts could make art like this. This should be your calling. Same as... with Yorin. They target the weak. <sighs> You're saying that now? No one, not even once, has ever expected that from me. <gasps> you sure about that? Because I know someone. You were wanted. Is that Titania's gun, Shania? Yeah. She's not around anymore. I have to do what I can. Shania, put it down. Huh? Put the gun down. Uh, okay. Wouldn't you prefer something a little more like this? Daddy just wants to see his daughter enjoying doing the things she loves the most. Papa. Go on. It's really unfortunate. It all came down to the mom. And the fact that she lost him. It, right? Your name? Why... Why not ditch it? Like that's an option. Much as I whine about it, it makes me feel connected wherever I am. It's special because it's the name she gave me. Kinda the same as your talent. Sounds nice. I like it. That scene got me a little bit. We'll make that world ourselves. We'll make it real. Uh. Oh, do stop. You're wasting your time with that. So before we get on to this awful mother, who's clearly awful, um, I just want to just mention like why that scene works so well. And I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe other people don't agree with me, but that scene was really, really well done on a writing standpoint because lesser writers would have gone with the easy route, the shonen route. And the shonen route is a very, very simple formula. All the friends forgive them in their last moment because they did one thing right at the end that was semi-decent, but they didn't do that here. They didn't have her redeem herself at the end, they just had her lose. And they still allowed us to understand why she did what she did, 
but not to ask us to forgive her for what she did. And most shonen would have done that. Um, and I'm not saying that this is shonen, but I'm just saying that like a lot of there's a lot of anime that uh, that use that narrative um, over and over and over again, and that would have ruined this storyline completely because she's done things that can't be forgiven. And too many times in like anime and stuff, they'll they'll try and make you like both feel bad for them and try to redeem them right at the end. And um, another trope of shonen is that actually the bad guy will live and the b- bad guy will turn into a good guy, which is also like after they've committed atrocities, like literal atrocities against mankind, they will be allowed to join the good guys because they did one good thing right as they like whatever you, you, you get my point. But that would have ruined the storyline for me, but they nailed it. They absolutely nailed this one. Where I felt like Ethel and Kamaravi going out was a failure on the storytelling, I felt like this one absolutely crushed it. Huh? How much longer will you drag your family's name through the mud? So she met her end as a Mobius. Please. What a pathetic child. It's all your fault, Fight you know that? <laughs> Monica, what, what no? Piece of work, that I one. I thought maybe parents would be closer to their kids somehow. Like that warmth we felt would go on throughout their lives. I thought that might have been the answer we were looking for. It's an illusion. It's a fact of life that the child is born of the parent. But that's all it is. So everything that we're trying to achieve, is that an illusion too? It's all... just a big lie? Sena. Whether it ends in a lie or not is up to you. We all have to crawl face down in the mud, believing we'll come out smiling. Mother. Table set, by the way. Huh? Let's fill up that tum. (laughs) She called her mother. I think that's the first time she's called Monica mother and not bitch queen. (laughs) able to smile next time round she'll be fine I guess that does beg the question because she became Mobius she's not a part of rebirth is she I don't think she is but maybe but no I don't think so I guess I suppose Zed could have the power to bring back all the Mobius that we've killed so far but there hasn't been anything to indicate that I would assume that um, when Mobius die they're not put back into a cycle but maybe I'm wrong about that the city was attacked by Shania now herself a Mobius The last the party sees of her before she vanishes is her smile. I really liked the way that went. Because I didn't, I I honestly didn't think I was going to. I was just, I was just scared that they were going to try and redeem her in some way. Which, she can't be redeemed. And they didn't. And I'm really proud of the writers for that. Because that would have been the route of many, many of these uh, storytellers would have gone. And it just wouldn't have, it wouldn't have landed true. Okay, wow, that was a great, that was a great quest. That was amazing. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at our maps real quick. So first off, are there any new question marks here? No, but we do have a quest called Choices that is not too far away from us. Um, yeah, it's probably down in the war room, right? Yeah, lots of unhappy voices in the city these days. The Doyles are acting as mediators at the moment. I'm just waiting for Garrett to give me a summary of the situation. Well, for once I'm grateful for his meddling. I'm afraid he'll align himself with these concerned citizens in the end. So that's where we're at. Now we just have to work out how to... We've got trouble. What's going on? A number of armory units have taken off without authorization. Seems they were commandeered by soldiers and civilians alike. The soldiers on guard seem to have been bribed to look the other way. Some guards they are. Travis. Just one thing after another. Assess the situation ASAP. Uh, Monica. This means people who aren't in the lost numbers have left the city, doesn't it? But what are they hoping to accomplish? Uh, we found them, boss. We tracked the signal of the stolen armory units. Seems they're headed towards Vinisog home. Understood. We'll head out there. Personally? Naturally. Prepare for immediate departure. One step ahead of you, boss. Monica, we'll come too. Okay. We'll make a move as soon as you as we're ready. Can I ask you to go on ahead and provide some defense? Of course. Let's get to Vinisog home. Okay. Um, is this the place where we met the escapee from the prison camp? I think it is. I'm so glad I got to see you again. Good to see you that you're okay, too. Good to see that you're okay, too. Did Augie acquit himself well this time? He really helped me a lot when I was escaping, anyway. So how was it? Uh, what should I say? Should I tell her the truth? Perhaps not. What? Wait, what? What are you hiding from her? Did that person not escape or something? Because otherwise, things went relatively well. All things considered. I gotta say, out of the original classes, I think Lanza's is my least favorite. It's really slow, it doesn't seem to actually keep aggro very well, like, I've never liked it very much. Ouroboros. So you're the ones who stole those armory units. Why did you come out here? We want independence from the city. We should apologize for the crudeness of our departure. But we'd like you to leave us in peace from now on. Did you talk this through with Monica? Yeah, the problem is, is that you stole a bunch of material on your way out, buddy. That, that's probably the biggest issue here. I'm sorry that this might get a bit violent, but I'll have to ask you to leave now. Oh, you wish, buddy. I've got some really good crowd control with my Ouroboros form. Well, maybe you'll feel more like chatting when your automatons are all lying in a neat little scrap heap. Oh, so many damage numbers. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Why'd you get involved, bro? This is not your fight. Out of the ground and then dropped something. Huh. What made you want to leave the city? I would have thought you could work it out. You must have heard the story of the old city built somewhere else, destroyed by Mobius. Yeah, I know the story. It's in the ocean right now. We heard about it from Garrett. And there was that Mobius attack. If they ever actually get past our defenses, there won't be anything we can do about it. We came to the conclusion that we had no option but to leave if we wanted to stay alive. And anywhere you start a new city, it's... It's going to be a target anyway, Vane. What makes you think that anywhere is going to be any different? Anywhere you make a foothold is a target for Mobius to destroy. Because anywhere you settle becomes an another second city. Which automatically becomes a target. Like, did this guy even stop to think for two seconds? I see. We don't really care if you accuse us of cowardice. This is our choice for our future. Our aim is to avoid the total annihilation of the city. If we survive, then we can build up our strength, and in a few hundred years, we might be able to tackle Mobius. I understand your point of view, but as Elder, I have to order you back to the city. But we aren't trying to stop the Lost Numbers from fighting. So why? You didn't make any preparations before you left the city, did you? Well, I mean... If Garrett backs you up on this, then you should present your plans formally to the Senate. Oh. I'm not denying your choice, so will you go back and think your plan through? Because clearly, they didn't think it through at all. Okay, we'll talk it through with Garrett. You sure you haven't just caused a massive spark storm there? If they come up with a workable plan, then we can analyze it. The future has many potential forms. They'll probably have sorted something out by the time we settle things with Mobius. I guess, yeah. Sorry to drag you out here. We should head back, too. Alright. That one wasn't uh, too difficult or too long. Vane had hoped to survive Mobius by isolating himself from the city, but Monica managed to get him to reconsider. I see some relations have changed. All right. All right, we haven't had a food buff in quite some time Let's make now. Let's the most of our break, guys. So we should probably do that. Personal hygiene is every sort And I think there's actually another side quest uh, that has a point on this map. I think it might actually be related to uh, main story as well. Um, okay, let's see. Where's our big CPs? Oh, look, we got... Oh, look at that. Mananas, Battle Soup DX, the Monocuri, Kurt C Curry, ugh, Mana... Curry. <laughs> I can say it. And the shiny briny lobster boil. They have good bonuses too. Um, what I'm really wanting is this. Whatever the CP boost is. Ah, should I get one with that also comes with experience? Because I don't necessarily want the experience boost. It is what it is. I think that's our best CP boost right there anyway, so. Uni's back in action. Bunch of incomplete rumors. 
Let's move out. All right. It's good to keep a record. So let's go ahead and find what quests we have on this map. Looks like we have several. Shock to the system. Romero and Julieta. And the ultimate vessel. So this is the one that's related to uh, main story. All right, cool. Shock to the system. We can work on that. Okay, so it's down below. Gotcha. All right. So we're probably going to be picking this up in the next episode. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody. To give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Len, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith. Molly, Chris Murphy, Kaberti, and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.